Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Greg here again with a, a quick update on what I've been doing with the uh, Tiger One, the Academy kit. Um, haven't done a video for a while. Uh, just having a time and other things, and you know, life gets in the way, as they say. So I thought I'll uh, do a catch-up one. See where I'm at on this build. As you can see, uh, I've got all the wheels all are all prepped and ready to be uh, primed. Um, the top, all the top of the deck, I've got most got the PE on and other bits and pieces. Let's we just zoom in a little bit. Let's just see if we can drop it down slightly. Is that uh, too much? There we go. It's a bit better in it. There we go. As you can see, I've got the PE on some little bits and pieces uh, on the rear plate. I have the uh, exhaust on and the exhaust manifold, sorry the exhaust because these aren't on yet, they're just placed on there. These are all positioned and there's all thoughts to go, things on the back which I haven't put on yet. I've just, so you've just got the basic things on, there's no jack, there's no jack block or anything on the back of there yet. That's all going to be done painted separate and put on when I get around to it. See all the wheels are all, say they're all trimmed and ready to go. To be primed, so I'll be putting on me on me sticks and and then paint and paint it sometime today. Uh, and as far as the hull is concerned, sorry, some a slurp of tea. Um, also, it's a couple little bits underneath here as well. See, I've got the um, there we go plate ready for the uh, for the turret for the turret. That's the base of the turret basket. So that's done in. Um, the valet, it's not a, it's a mega on me, or AK paints. Hull red, I think it's hull red, I'm not too sure. I can't remember off the top of me, I'll have to, have to look again after. But yeah, you can see the base colour there, and I'll just give it a bit of a, a bit of a wash with a, with a black wash, just a faint one, let it down, they've let the black wash down quite a bit, and then just gradually built it up. And it's at the level where I want it at the moment, so. That's that part done, and a little bit of the interior again. This is the plate that goes onto the front for the machine gun to be positioned. So I'll just sort of let me get into it better. There we go. There we go. Let's focus. Come on, camera work. Yeah, just done a little bit of into there, just sort of black wash again around certain parts. Uh, so that goes on the inside of the tank, and you've got the outside of the fastens to the outside of the. Uh, Gun mantle on the front. The machine gun going through on the on the, the bow machine gun. Uh, see the top deck. I see I explained to you the top deck. So obviously not. This isn't going to be like this. I'm not going to waste my time doing all the interior and covering it all up. So we shall move remove that. And as you can see, I'll, just, I'll tell you what. I'll move these all off the way out of the way so we can see how far we've actually got. Most of the interior is actually finished now, so just some little bits and pieces to do. Final weathering and things like that. And as you can see, it's uh, really going to weather really quite well. Very happy with it indeed. Um, and there you are. What do we say? As soon as I start the video, the cat wants in. Excuse me again. Right, come on then. You wanted to come in. You must know I'm videoing again. There we go. Yeah, without fail, Bella, you're always here. As soon as the video camera's on. So as you can see, yeah, most of it's done. It's I've added a few little bits and pieces. You can see I've just added a couple of um, hand, uh, straps on the on the battery on the batteries. I didn't leave them open. I thought, well, I'll cover them. So everything went together quite well. There's not really any fit issues as such. So that's the radio operator, radio operator side. Let's uh, get a bit of light into it. That's the radio operator side, and then we have obviously the the driver. Got all these gear and his seat and his steering wheel. Let's see if we can get a bit more light into this. Are you going to lighten up it a bit more? Not really, is it? It's too much. That's better. Let's bring it forward again. Yeah, so see that's all done in there. 
Uh, obviously you have on the shelves. This is this um, never remember what it's called. Extreme metal in a tube. This is from uh, AK. So I have I have the uh, steel and I have the element of the uh, brass. So I'm going to use a lot of them on the uh, on the Leopold. But Simon Ken put me onto those and they do really work well. Um, a lot of the steel work that's in there and metal is the uh, metalling part of the jaw jaw sent me Joe's model kit's brilliant it really is and you hardly use anything so that's the drive shaft one from the engine and the back there so we have the back of the engine so and the engine I've just done a little few little bits and pieces a couple of aluminium tubes in there and some wire running from top of the engine just to you know make it a bit more interesting uh, and there's a the fuel tanks there again it just only hull red and then well, come on then. What do you want out? Are you going out? Are you coming in? What are you doing? You want to appear, don't you? Okay. Just a minute then. Just a minute. I say uh, there's the uh, fuel fuel drums. So they're just uh, uh, whole red again, and then uh, I like black wash on them again, just to darken them down again. And then we have, if we can get a better picture, maybe from this side of the. Uh, radiator. So then again, that's just the uh, prime black and then the metal polish again. And again, it's down in the uh, radiator part again. And then we have the air filters, the air, sort of the air fans, which aren't quite finished yet. I've just got to finish the centre pieces that are a bit bright at the moment but so again I'll stack them down slightly as well. Oh, I'm quite well, quite happy with it. There's a few bits and pieces I have to put in there yet, a little like ammo packs and things like that. I've got a few ammo packs already on but I'm going to put a few more. There's three there, there's four there. There's a few other bits and pieces I have to put on yet. So yeah, everything's going quite well. Yeah, the shells, there's 20 shells so there's some other options to put shells everywhere else but uh, I've been looking at a few uh, photographs of where the shells were stored as well because underneath all these shells are obviously they were all in this, here we go, she's here, are you coming to see us then, come on then, you want to come and see you then, you want to get on a camera, come on then, um, yeah the shells, they say there's only six on the top but there's three layers, there should be three, is it three or four layers as you can see from the storage bin so there's one to give you the top layer uh, so it gives me I think I've got eight left eight shells left to mess around with so I'll uh, find places for them to go probably on the gun excuse me well come on then do you want to see a lot of them come on see a lot of them then no come on here then I mean are you going to see a lot you're going to see a lot well, see a lot of people then what's on here hey. Sorry for the disturbance again, but she as soon as I as soon as I start video on she's here. Come on then, get down then. Yeah, so I was saying about the shells. Um so I'll mess around with some other shells and just finish the uh the fans at the back. And then I think that's the interior of that part done. Uh so we can leave that for a while. I could start thinking about doing the turret. Get the turret together and I'm gonna display it uh, in three three or four open place pieces. So I'll have the obviously the lower hull and then we have the outer hull and then the turret and then the turret lid off as well so we can see everything through it no figures I'm putting no figures with this I don't think it warrants any figures on this one um, if I had found some like a driver proper driver and things like that then yeah but with the way things are on it there's no, there's no need for figures I don't think that's my personal preference anyhow so but yeah I say this kit was unbelievable for 20, and people say it's inaccurate, accurate, can't even say the word properly, but to be perfectly honest, I don't care if it is or not, I just really enjoyed the build, it's the first time I've done anything with any interior, and I thought I'd enjoy it. Um, there's nothing else on the bench at the moment, there's a few, there's a few figures that I've been doing, just as a lot of uh, my things have been drying, uh, but this, American mortar crew, I see I've only just sort of mind yourself, Mind yourself. 
Let's get this. Let's pull the camera back out now, so we can have the set not in. Yes. So I just. Uh, come on. So I've basically just got the green and the uh, base flesh on them uh, at the moment. There's, there's, there's three figures. There's uh, there's a bazooka. There's a uh, an already operator and where are we at here? Yeah, you know, sorry, a bazooka. Yeah, a bazooka. We have the mortar, sorry, the mortar first, and then bazooka. Well, this is off the. Um, oh, what's it off? Then you can put them with the figures. Oh, it's off the M5, the M5A1. So they're just figures that came with it, but I've just put them together just to. Uh, there's one, two, three figures, and let's say there's a. There's a big 30 cal there as well, and which is, I don't know if that's off this, but I've, it's painted anyhow or base coated. Well, no, you want to say, you don't think it's any good to you, Bella, is it? No, you can't eat it. Yeah, there's that on there, look. So, there are just little things I've been doing. I say, I've already got that kit on the go because uh, I have kind of starting the Leopold. Um, which I've got something sent today from a Leopold, some bits and pieces. Uh, got the, uh, the shells, brass shells or aluminium shell with all the bits and pieces the, uh, to go around it. So that will be added to the Leopold when I do eventually start making it, which is next when I get this finished. I think I shall be starting to make a start in roads on that. So I finally put the shelf up that I need to put it on. Uh, now I can dictate how. How long it's going to be and what I can put on there with it. But ideally, I'd love to put a uh, the little um, little engine. I think it's an electric engine or diesel engine. It goes. I think it's diesel. Yeah, be diesel one. Diesel engine on the front, and hopefully a flatbed with a uh, uh, with little guns on the back. Little from my columns. Oh, it's going up the top of my head. Well, you know what I mean. There's three figures. And meantime, we're talking about how to display it, and we came we came up with a cracking idea of. If it's just coming out of the tunnel or being in the tunnel, so I have some rock moulds uh, which I might put along the back of the shelf, um, you know, and then the Leopold in front of it, as if it's just in the, uh, you know, being pulled out of the um, the cave or the tunnel, I should say. So that's that's something I'm really seriously thinking about doing. But first, obviously, I've got to build the bloody thing first, and uh, then we can go from there. So. I think that's about it for this build at the moment, so I'll, I'll do another update when, come on, come down here, when uh, I've progressed a little bit further, when I've probably started doing the outer hull, I'll uh, come back to it with it being primed and, and camouflaged, I won't be really weathering it as such because it, it's going to be used but not used if you know what I mean, so there's no point in really heavily weathering it, just maybe get a couple of washes or something like that to tone the paint down, but there be no scratching or uh, you know anything like that. Um, so that's about it, I think. So I'd like to thank all my subscribers and the few new ones I've picked up recently. Thank you very much. Welcome aboard. Um, and I think that's about it. So this is Greg signing off and Bella signing off. So we shall see you soon.